Hi everyone, welcome back to Beast and Fields Early Years Home Learning. Today we are going to be learning more phonics. And it is important to learn phonics because it helps us with our reading and our writing. So if you have your phoneme maps out at home, you can pause the video now and go through them by yourself or with a sibling or with an adult at home. You can start at the beginning or go backwards or go from the middle. Remember to use the pictures to remind yourself of the sound if you are unsure and try and use the actions to help you um, remember as well. You can also join in with Miss Johnson now. As I show the grapheme up on the screen, please make sure you say the sound out loud back at home. Let's get started today. Ooh. Z. E. A. E. I Oi Er K R Ch Sh O Er O E Ow. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. D. D. Y. Z. B. E. Okay, so our phoneme of the day today is oo in moon. And the action for oo in moon is you do like a circular shape for a circle moon in in the sky obviously moon can be different shapes it can be segments of it but we're just doing the whole circle of moon in the sky so my phoneme is ooh my name is so the letter names today are o o okay and there's two letters so two letters that make one sound and we call it a digraph and when we're identifying a digraph, we put the sound button dash underneath to help us recognise that we don't say ah oh, ah, oh, we say ooh. There is another um, way, another sound that it makes. You might know it as o oh, in book. But today we are going to be revisiting ooh in moon. So remember, we're making the ooh sound today, not o. Oh. So some of the words that contain ooh in moon are moon, soon, classroom and two and this two is not the number two it's like if you have too much of something um, I ha had too many sweets or had too many chocolates it's lots of okay what we're going to do now is have a practice writing our grapheme of the day Remember, grapheme is what it looks like, so how we write it, and phoneme means how it sounds, so it sounds like ooh. Okay, so we're going to get our magic pencils. You can practice in your home learning packs at home, or on a scrap piece of paper, or chalk, whatever you have or feel like doing that today. So we're going to do OO for ooh, okay? And around, up, and again, around up and if you would like to put the dash underneath to remember that it makes one sound for our digraph you are more than welcome to and again around up 
and again around up and the dash underneath. If you do lots of these, remember to use finger spaces in between because we don't want loads of ooze all the way along. They need to be separate because it's only two letters, not lots of letters together. It also helps you when you start writing sentences. What we're going to do today is you're going to be reading some word, words sorry, and matching it to the emoji. Remember, if you want to practice doing it by yourself, pause the video and have a go by yourself and then you can listen to Miss Johnson afterwards. I hope you enjoy. Let's match the emoji to the word. Let's segment and blend the word. M, U, N, moon. Which emoji is a moon? That's right, the moon is at the top. Let's look at the next word. Let's segment and blend. S, P, U, N, spoon. Which emoji is a spoon? Well done, you found the emoji spoon. Let's read the next word. Get those robot arms ready. F, U, D, food. Which emoji is a bowl of food? Yes, that's right. There it is. Let's have a look at the next word. Segment and blend with those robot arms. M, U, M, U. Which animal emoji makes this sound? That's right, a cow does. Let's have a look at the next word. Get those robot arms ready. P, U, P, U. Oh, which emoji is poo? There he is. Let's look at our next word. Get those robot arms ready. T -o -th, tooth. Which emoji has a tooth? Yes, well done. It's at the bottom. Let's segment and blend this word. B -o -t, boot. Which emoji is showing a boot? Well done. It's a black boot at the top. I hope you enjoyed the emoji matching to the word today. What we're going to do now is apply our understanding of oo in moon into a sentence. So a sentence will be popping up along the bottom. We will need our robot arms warmed up to segment, chop the word up and blend the word together, push it together to read the whole word. So remember, if you want to have a go yourself, pause the video and have a look at the sentence, try yourself. Remember to go back to the beginning to read through it. If you then want to do it with Miss Johnson, unpause it and have a go with me. So the first word at the beginning, Remember, if you already know it, you do not need to segment and blend every single word. Miss Johnson's just doing it to help you. So, three, two, one. K -a -n. Can. Now, tricky word because we cannot segment and blend tricky words. So, what's this one? You, back to the beginning. Can you. Let's segment and blend. P -i -k. Pick, back to the beginning. Can you pick, segment and blend, up, up, back to the beginning. Can you pick up, a or a, and then the last word here with our grapheme of the day. Three, two, one, s, p, u, n, spoon, back to the beginning of the sentence. Can you pick up? a spoon and it has this uh, question mark at the end so this type of sentence is a question it's asking you something can you pick up a spoon so you need to answer it with either a yes thumbs up or a no can you pick up a spoon Yeah, you can. You pick up a spoon to eat food, like a bowl of cereal, a bowl of fruit. Yes, spoons are a useful tool to help us when we are cooking and eating. So what Miss Johnson would like you to have a go at now is using our tricky word of the week, 
he, okay? So we looked at she last week, now we're looking at he. So he doesn't have the S at the beginning, okay? So it's just a H-E, eh. And it's tricky, so we cannot segment and blend like Miss Johnson did, because we can't blend, eh. it wouldn't make the sound he. And it's tricking you because it makes you think it's the E in tree at the end. It is just one E eh or one E, okay? So he, you could write the sentence, he went to the moon, he had a spoon. If you find that a little bit too tricky, then you can have a go at writing some of the words that we um, segmented and blend today, such as moon, spoon, boo, moo, and you could draw a picture to match your um, word as well. Like if you're writing moo, you could draw a cow. Everything that you do, please make sure you get an adult to take a little snapshot picture of your amazing phonics work so the Beast and Feel staff can like and comment on the amazing stuff that you are doing at home. I hope you've enjoyed the phonics video today. Keep it up, you're trying really, really hard and it you know, it is amazing all the stuff that you are doing at home. And Miss Johnson will be seeing you very soon. Bye.